When in Sections activity, which can be accessed using the top toolbar, 10 functions become available along the left hand side toolbar. These include the ability to generate control planes, define a cross section by two points or three points, create parallel cross sections, create perpendicular cross sections, create ball cross sections and heel cross sections, side profile sections. You also have the ability to move or rotate a section as well as remove a section. Generate control planes creates planes automatically. The parameters for these are defined in Tools, Options, Planes, where you can specify various angles and distances. Creating a section by two points requires the user to specify two points, an inside point and an outside point. To create a cross section by three points, you specify an inside point, an outside point and a top point. The cross section is formed around these three points. Ball cross sections automatically create a section at the ball point. Parallel cross section allows you to create cross sections parallel to an existing section. Once a section has been selected, an area needs to be defined, as well as the distance between the existing section and your new section. You can also choose to have a certain number of sections. In this instance, direction was chosen, which means that the final task in the left mouse which means that the final task is to left mouse click on the side of the original section you want the new parallel section to be created. To create a perpendicular cross section you first need to select a line and then a point on this line and the perpendicular cross section will be created. Just like ball cross section, heel cross section creates a cross section at the heel point. A profile cross section is a cross section that defines the side profile of the last. And to move or rotate a cross section, first select a section, then to move it, use the center point node, and to rotate, use the relevant node on the profile.